This will sound very strange, but the tornado that touched down in Washington, D.C., day one of the January 6th committee, the death of world-class virologist and Nobel Prize winner for medicine, Luc Montagnier, Bob Dylan's famous 17-minute long song about the death of John F. Kennedy, the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 13 disaster, and the Revelation 12 rapture sign are all prophetic signs that are predicting that the rapture will be on October 12, 2023, and are predicting that that is predicting that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash that will be caused due to a bird strike in St. Louis on precisely December 13th, 2022. The date that this video is posted proves that this prediction was made ahead of time, as does this timestamped email and forensic notes PDF. If you are skeptical, please email me and I will forward these to you. After Harris's death, she will be replaced by Michelle Obama, and soon after, Barack Obama will replace Michelle. This is the reason why Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash. It is so that Barack Obama can become the president again. This video is also predicting that God is pointing to the dates December 18th and December 23rd in regards to Michelle and Barack Obama. It is an assumption that Joe Biden will announce that Michelle will be his new vice president on December 18th and that she will be sworn in on December 23rd. However, in regards to these dates, there could be some other scenario for Michelle and Barack Obama. Either way, Michelle will become the 47th president and Barack will become the 48th president. Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash 96 days after the Queen of England died at the age of 96. As a result, Michelle Obama will become the Queen of America. Michelle Obama will return to the White House as a result of Harris's death in a plane crash that will be 97 days after she returned to the White House for the unveiling of her portrait on the date September 7th, which is 9-7 and hints at 97, because 97 is the 25th prime number and the 25th amendment will be used to make her the president and then the 25th amendment will be used to make her husband the president again. She will replace the 49th U.S. vice president and then become the president as a result of the death of the 49th vice president in a plane crash that will be exactly 49 months after her book Becoming was released. Michelle Obama will become the first female president and the 47th president as a result of Kamala Harris's death in a plane crash that will be exactly 47 weeks after the death of Lucia Harris, the queen of basketball, who was the first and only woman to be drafted by the NBA, and Michelle Obama will replace Kamala Harris the first female vice president, and her husband is the basketball president. God pairs the numbers 110 and 9 together to point to the 110 floors of the Twin Towers that collapsed, and George Washington's walk down Wall Street after his first inauguration at Federal Hall, and into the church that was the only building at Ground Zero to have survived the falling debris, due to the uprooted sycamore tree that sheltered and protected Trinity Church. In God's judgment warning to ancient Israel in the book of the prophet Isaiah 9:11, says that the buildings have collapsed and the sycamore trees have been uprooted. In what today is known as the Miracle Chapel, George Washington consecrated the nation to God, saying that if the nation were to ever turn away from God, it would lose its divine protection and blessings. Wall Street is named after the nine-foot-high wall of security that the Dutch built to keep the British and the Indians out. And in the Bible, Joshua died at the age of 110, and he led the Hebrews around the walls of security before they collapsed in God's judgment. God pairs the numbers 110 and 9 together to symbolize all of this. And Joshua is a type for Jesus, and Jesus' first coming was officially on the date 110 in the Hebrew calendar. 
two towers that were each 110 stories high is symbolism for Jesus' second coming. That God pairs 9 and 110 together to point to 9-11 is the reason why the iconic Air Force plane in the collapse of Afghanistan on the prophetic 20th anniversary of the collapsed 110-story buildings on 9-11 was number 1109, which hints at 110 and 9. Barack Obama will become the president again as a result of the death of Kamala Harris in a plane crash, which is predicted to be exactly 1109 weeks after the planes crashed into the Twin Towers on 9-11. Barack Obama will become the president again as a result of the death of Kamala Harris in a plane crash that is predicted to be exactly 90,011 days after the nation was born on July 4th, 1776. America will lose its independence 90,011 days after it established its independence. This video is also predicting that famous actor James Earl Jones, the voice of the Lion King and the voice of Darth Vader, will die on December 30th, 2022. This video is also predicting that there will be a catastrophic asteroid hit on Earth on September 2nd, 2023. This will be a fulfillment of what is described in the book of Revelation in the Bible in chapter 8. Some social media sites have a maximum length for videos that can be posted, and so I need to cut this video into two parts. Click on the link to watch the remainder of this video. You can also find this link in the description box below this video. Make sure you watch the remainder of this extremely important video that is posted on a different channel than the one you are watching now. The link to the rest of this video is in the description box below this video. Hopefully you at least found this introduction video to be interesting, and if so, please leave a like and upvote the video, and please consider sharing the video.